I want to show you how you can create workspaces in Google Drive that allow you to make collections of files as you need them and they can come from any of the areas on the left side here and they are customized to you so when you create a workspace the other people who have access to those files won't see that workspace it's just for you first off to access workspaces click on priority on the left hand side and then you will see the option to create a workspace go ahead and click on create give it a name click create again and you'll see this new block representing your workspace click on it and you'll have the option to add files or you might see some suggested files to add you can also click on choose other files to open up the picker on the right hand side of your screen you can select files from here and in each section from the top here recent my drive shared drives shared with me starred and computers you can pick from any of these places do one at a time select the files you want to add and then click insert and then from this screen once you've added them you can click to add more files and you can also use the search tool to find a specific file. And you can even use these filters here to help find something specific. And when you find them, click insert. You can have up to 25 files in these. And just as a note, you can do files from one of your shared drives. And if you have your computer synced through backup and sync, you can also add files from your computer. Once you have the files you want, click Done. Now to use a workspace, you can simply double click on a file from the workspace to either open it up or open a preview of the file. Or you can right click on a file, hold your mouse over a file and click on the three dots to see more options about it. For example, different ways to open the file, sharing options, getting a link, adding it to another workspace. If applicable to find the location, you won't see this for computer files or for shared with me files. And also the option here to remove the file from a workspace if you don't need it there anymore. Click on the drop down by the workspace name. If you are done using a workspace or if you don't need to have it front and center, you could hide the workspace. Any of the hidden workspaces will be collapsed in the bottom here under the hidden workspaces area. You can open that up and then work with any of these workspaces again by unhiding it. Or if you really don't need it anymore, you can actually remove that workspace, which doesn't affect the files, just the workspace collection. Another way you can populate a workspace is by finding a file anywhere in either My Drive, a shared drive, computers if you have your synced, shared with me, recent, or starred, and you can select the file and click on the three dot icon, the more actions button, or right click, secondary click on it, and you'll see the option to add to workspace from here. You can add to an existing workspace or create a new one right from this menu option here. And finally, if you really like this priority view and it gives you suggested things to work on and these workspaces, you can make it your default homepage in Drive by going to the gear, choosing settings, and under the general option, select make priority my default homepage. So then when you come into Drive next time, you'll see this view automatically. Workspaces are a really powerful and flexible tool and they are customized to you.